the Beaver Dam Club was formed in 1882. So we're over 100 years past that. And uh, people have hunted it ever since then. It's become famous through the writings of Nash Buckingham. And of course, the, the hunts that we've had these last two days, of course, have direct tie to Nash because Bo Whoop, his famous shotgun, is part of, a big part of this hunt. It's the centerpiece for the hunt. And we were just uh, fortunate enough to be able to host uh, these two days and we've had a blast. Beaver Dam is just a special place and, and it's definitely imprinted on these ducks and, and, and I've never seen a lake that day after day would take a pounding like Beaver Dam does. Uh, there's not a lot of places in the, in the world that'll do that, but uh, Beaver Dam is one of them. When you think about Nash Buckingham, he made Beaver Dam famous. He made this part of Mississippi and this old oxbow off the Mississippi incredibly famous. And to this day, people still come from around the United States to hunt at the famous Beaver Dam. And so it was wonderful that Mike and Lamar Boyd donated a hunt that we sold at DU's National Convention. Charles Jobes, a decoy carver, a major donor, a volunteer, and just a great friend of Ducks Unlimited, bought that hunt at auction. I said, Charles, why in the world did you spend that much money on that hunt? He said, Dan, my, my life, my whole world is about waterfowl, duck hunting, decoys. And he said, I'm bringing my sons. He said, you know, my dad was a duck hunter. My dad was a decoy carver. I am my dad's legacy and my sons, Keith and Andrew, are my legacy. He said, this is my gift to my sons. So it was incredibly special. And to, to be a part of this today with Doug Schoenrock, who will be our next president, Charles and his two sons, it was a truly a once in a lifetime experience to have been part of this Beaver Dam Bow Whoop experience. Here at Beaver Dam, you know, I brought my two sons down here and they love to hunt. Both of them love to hunt. We don't get to hunt together as much as we used to. But uh, just getting them together, and this was a lot of planning to get everything done, you know, get it all together. But, you know, they had a ball. I mean, it was, you know, we don't hunt in flooded timber. We hunt in big water. Uh, thanks to Ducks Unlimited, you know, it all happened to do this DU film. And, you know, it's, it's a great thing. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great, great experience to be able to hunt with my dad and my brother here, a very different type of hunting than we normally do. Um, being able to hunt with, like I said, my father and my brother and uh, Dan and, and Doug, and you know, it was just a great experience. Dad brought, you know, a couple dozen decoys down that he made, wood duck decoys, um, to hunt over and uh, we brought one special decoy, which was uh, my grandfather's urn decoy. It's got, you know, his ashes in it, you know, and he's here with us while we're hunting and, you know, calling the ducks and saying, hey, Fred, you know, shoot straight, don't miss. The hunt we were on, it was, it was a great hunt, especially shooting bow whoop shotgun. I mean, that's, that was, I mean, it kind of gives you goosebumps to hold that shotgun and know that Nash Buckingham had that gun in his hand. You know, we had some, had some really, really good shots that were good decoying ducks. Just to have the, the guys that we've got hunting with us today and to be able to hunt with Bo Whoop was very special because this is, uh, this is Bo Whoop's second trip to my blind and uh, we've, been, we've been privileged and honored to, to host two hunts with that gun and it's got so much history and, and, uh, with Nash and, and 
a lot of guys know the story. Uh, it's it's been well written about, but uh, but to get to hunt with that gun is is really a special thing. One of the decoys that we hunted with is uh, one of my dad's decoys. Uh, one of these decoys is one of my dad's decoys that he made in 2000. Uh, it's a Mallard Drake, so I took, bored a hole in the bottom of it and took some of his ashes and put in the bottom of it. So that's a pretty neat thing to have down here with him, you know. and. Uh, He's looking down like, wow, this is a cool place. But it's pretty cool to hunt over that. Ducks Unlimited is a great family. It's a uh, it's a big family, you know. There's a lot of people that, you know, we know and have, have got to be great friends with over the years. You know, we, we're just happy to be able to, to do hunts like these uh, because they are special. And uh, it's really good to get to bring so many different people from so many different walks of life uh, together with that one common bond and all is well and everybody has fun, build relationships for life. And, you know, so many of these guys I would have never known had it not been for duck hunting. We would have never crossed paths, so I'm thankful for that. I don't regret what I don't have. I'm just thankful for what I do. And, and uh, so we, we, we've, we've still got it okay here. I'm, I'm happy.